Okay, so here's a typical situation in SEO. We have a website, we have gazillion amount of keywords, and we need to work on it. We can't do them all at once, it requires content, and we need to create backlinks. Impossible to do 260 keywords at once, right? So we need to focus on a specific amount of keywords, let's say 10, 20 for a given time period, and then once we finish that, we'll be able to move on and take the next set of keywords. So the perfect tool for that is the Keyword Explorer, and I'm going to show you how to use it. Okay, so Keyword Explorer, we're finding it on the left menu under Keyword Explorer, Keyword Ideas, and here we have a preset keyword, but we can use whatever we want. Make sure we choose the right localization, otherwise it won't show uh, information regarding your country. And uh, next, uh, we need to decide how we're going to do it. We have two ways to try and find new keywords. One of them would be to start with a keyword or a set of keywords and get ideas from that. The second one would be to start with a competitor. So we would try any one of our uh, websites, uh, competitor websites, and start from that and see what they rank for and try to mimic that for us. Um, let's start with keyword ideas based on keywords. So here we have one keyword. We can have multiple ones separated by comma, whatever you want. But let's start with just one. And we need to decide on uh, how to suggest the ideas from. Uh, we could do take keywords that contain the exact phrase. We could take keywords that contain the words, not necessarily in the same order, and not necessarily one uh, and adjusting to the, to the other one. Uh, there might be, for example, uh, if we do this, contains words, we would find things like uh, SEO analysis software. So we have SEO, that's one key, one word. We have software, but between them we have analysis. So it's a lot more keywords uh, from the words. Uh, third, suggest by would be also ranks for. Now this is really cool. This would make probably the best ideas you get. Uh, let's do it. Okay, waiting. So, yeah, it takes a little time. Uh, the idea here is that we took the first 10 results from Google for that keyword, SEO software in this case, and we saw what those websites that ranked 1 to 10 also ranked for. Other keywords they had in mind. And uh, we might learn from them. So, uh, here you see all the keywords. We got more than 5,000 5, uh, suggestions and um, you can sort that and filter that. We have all kinds of filters and build a list. And uh, if you look at the information, very valuable information, we have the search volume, we have the CPC, and we have uh, keyword difficulty, how hard it will be to rank for those keywords, and we have number of appearances. So if a keyword is found on all 10 websites that rank on first page, it's probably something that we need to consider. Okay, all websites that rank on first page for SEO software are also ranked for those keywords. So it means something. It's probably a very good keyword if it's, in, if it's there, if it appears 10 times. And um, very, very useful information. Now, last one in the suggestions, you, we have planner suggestions. Now that's taken from Google Keyword Planner and we don't have that for all keywords because it's pretty hard to get this information. But for the big ones, 
for the ones that have a lot of search volume we have it so for example if we take SEO we can see what Google suggests for SEO now you might find things that look like they're not related like internet marketing or it's not taken from the word SEO but it is related and Google knows that so yeah very very useful also okay so uh, taking ideas from competitors so let's say I'm in the swimming uh, arena and I want to take ideas from a competitor website so I put in the URL here and do search keywords uh, let's do swim.com and voila I get 347 ideas and uh, yeah as you can see we, we can get a lot of useful information here uh, we have the volume the CPC uh, competition index keyword difficulty how hard it will be to rank for that keyword uh, the actual rank of this website for this keyword um, and the estimated clicks they're supposed to get from it because we don't know the actual ones uh, so we can estimate based on their rank and uh, search volume so yeah we, we, we can start from that build a list of keywords or filter them and voila we got ourselves great ideas from our competitor and that's about it uh, last step would be to save lists so let's say I I'm starting with too many keywords here and I want to filter them let's do the ones that contain swim and you know what I don't want to do keyword difficulty more than 50 because that will be too hard okay we filter them down to 125 yeah you know what uh, I want only keywords that are mm, two to three words no more than that and yeah th that's about it that's about it let's do again apply filters okay we're down to 85 keywords and that, that's good enough so right now uh, what I want to do is to save the list and I just do save list give it a name and save now anytime I want to use this list in the future I can go here and use it okay so very useful feature keyword explorer hope you'll use it very very good